In this video, we're going to talk about the unit step function. So unit step function. So first, we're going to define the unit step function. It's defined as a piecewise function. So the way we're going to define it is u of t minus a. It's a piecewise function. And it's going to be 0 if t is less than a and greater than or equal to 0. And it's going to be 1 if t is greater than or equal to a. Let's look at a graph of the unit step function so you see what it looks like. So here's the y-axis, and then here's the t-axis, and then here's a. So between 0 and a, it's equal to 0. So it's going to be 0 all the way until we get to a. And then at a, there's a little hole, right, because we have that, and then it jumps up to 1. And now it's on, okay? That's the way you think about it. It's been turned on, and now it's 1 all the way across. So here you want to think of it as being off, and here you want to think of it as being on, okay? So it's on for t greater than or equal to a, and it's off for t less than a and greater than or equal to 0. It's kind of like an electrical switch, right? It's off or it's on. That's the idea here. That's how you want to think about it, on and off. And before we do an example uh, that illustrates what this is useful for, um, let me just emphasize this a little bit more. Like say we, took this, uh, say we took a function f of t, and we multiplied it by the unit step function. Well, what does that do? Let's, let's carefully look at it you would get f of t times 0. So that would be 0 for t less than a. And then if you do f of t times 1, you just get f of t, right? So it would be f of t for t greater than or equal to a. So what, what does this graph look like? Well, why not? Let's do it. Let's live on the edge. So here's, here's a. Okay, let me use yellow again to indicate it. So it's 0 all the way until it gets to A, and then right at A, boom, at A, it doesn't become 1 anymore, it turns on. So this is your function F here. So what this does is, when you take F, when you take a function, and you multiply it by the unit step function, it turns it on. So F is on for T bigger than or equal to A. So you can use the unit step function to turn functions on, okay? That's the idea. So what are these used for? Well, mainly what's going to happen is we're going to have a piecewise function. And it turns out it's very easy to write piecewise functions in terms of unit step functions. And it's very easy to compute the Laplace transform of the unit step function. So whenever you have a piecewise function, you write it in terms of unit step functions. That's the idea. And then when, if you need to take the Laplace transform, you do. So let's do an example uh, of a piecewise function. Let's take an abstract one first, and then I'll do one with numbers. Okay. So here's a piecewise function. This is g of t. And this will be for t less than a. And then it's going to be h of t for t bigger than a. All right, so let's go ahead and write this in terms of unit step functions. Let me use a different color. How about red? Here we go, f of t. This is a bit tricky, okay? So I'm going to try to go slow. So basically, f is equal to g when t is less than a, okay? So to do that, let's, let's draw a picture. Maybe a picture will help. So let's say this is, say this is the graph of g, okay? And then here's a. So we want... We want it to be this, right? We want g to be on for t less than a. So what we're going to do, right, is we're going to turn g on permanently. How do we do that? Well, we just write down g. Now it's just g, right? Now it's just g. Now it looks like this. This is the graph of this is this right here, okay? And um, we want this. So what we do is we need to subtract away this this yellow piece here. 
So how do we subtract away this yellow piece? Well, we know how to do that, right? Because we can get this yellow piece by taking g and multiplying it by the unit step function, right? Look over here at f. It's the same thing that happened, right? So it'll be minus g of t times the unit step function. Let me go ahead and write this down in words. Here g is always on. Okay, it's always on. And then here, it's on for t bigger than a. So if you take the case where g is always on, and you subtract the piece where it's on for t bigger than a, you're left with g is on for t less than a, which is what we want, right? Which is, which is this picture here, right? So here this is g. So we basically, we take this big piece here, we subtract away the yellow, and we get this down here, and that's what we want. Plus, and this next part's easy, h has to be on for t bigger than a. We know that, that to turn a function on for t bigger than a, we simply multiply it by the unit step function. All right, so that's it. That's how you write it in terms of piecewise uh, functions. Let's do a really simple example with numbers. Yeah, it's a little bit, it takes a little bit of thinking. I think these pictures here um, sh should help, right? So this is, this is just g always being on. And then we subtract away the yellow. That's, that's this piece here. And we get what we want, g on for t less than a. All right, let's do one with numbers. Uh, f of t equals, um, let's see, 4, uh, and then negative 2, and how about, how about 3? So it'll be 4 for t less than 3, and uh, it'll be negative 2 for t greater than or equal to 3. And we're just going to write this in terms of unit step functions. Let's go ahead and do it. So it's f of t. So again, 4 has to be on for t less than 3. So how do we do that? We turn it on permanently, boom. And then we subtract the piece where it's on for t bigger than 3. Right, so this is always on. It's always 4. This is on for t bigger than 3. So this is on for t less than 3. And then plus, and then we have negative 2, and we need to turn that on for t bigger than 3. So that's going to be u of t minus u of t minus 3. And I guess you could simplify this, right? Um, negative 4 and negative 2 would give you uh, negative 6. This is 4 minus 6 unit step of t minus 3. So that's just a really quick introduction to um, the unit step function. I know it's a little bit confusing, the whole on-off thing, and it, and it takes some practice. Uh, maybe if I have time, I'll, I'll make some more videos. It really is really, really beautiful stuff. So I hope this helps someone out there. That's it.